And I dedicated a lot of time to training as well as working, continuing to work my business until I train them to the point to where they don't need me as much anymore. Mm. So I've been investing a lot of time Making sure they in creating more time. Mm-hmm. Right. Right, right. Mine, mine is like this. Like, it's just, I just don't, like, when, when certain people call, I just don't answer the phone. Like, <laughs> it's just real. Well, like, I mean, I after, a, again, wait, after, wait, after wait. a certain time, I don't oh, answer the phone like, anyway. Like, like, yeah. Yo, I hate to say it. Wait, I'm, say it one more time. Though, what you say? Yo, I'm real simple. Like, I, I tell everybody, I'm real simple, man. Like, he said, hold on, hold on. Say it one more time. But I didn't realize, like, a lot of people just don't need, like, like So you time, just don't answer your phone? Nah, like, <laughs> certain people call me, I just not answer. I, like, I used to. That's how it starts, though. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is Great Apes Cafe. Great appreciation for people, entertainment, and success. And I'm going to have everybody introduce themselves because we all know I can't. Start with my right, you guys. What's good, y'all? It's Queen Brittany. What's good, man? It's your boy, Cool Kev. And of course, we all know me as Timothy Raw. And today, we're just going to, we're going to talk about, I don't know, we're going to vent, I guess. We're going to just enlighten y'all. Just sometimes getting stuff off your chest, off your shoulders is very important. And I think that's what we're going to do with this episode. Now, Kev, what you were saying earlier, because <laughs> before the podcast I start, Kev was saying some real, like, some real shit. I mean, I was just saying, like, you know. Um, the important shit. <laughs> so I'm about to get on probation or whatever. And Wait, hold on. Time out. Let me interject. You saw you want to talk about this. Yeah, you don't yeah, have yeah. To. We good, we good. Okay. So, like, about to get on probation, you know what I'm saying? Um. Even though it was something light, you know what I'm saying? I had to do a little bit of weekends or whatever in jail. You know, it just kind of opened my eyes to what's available to me and what's not. Uh, I want to thank everybody that, you know, did support me or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because you realize, like, you know, like, you realize your support system, like, being in jail. So, like, I'm sitting in jail. I'm, I'm looking at the walls all day. Uh, you know, I'm sitting. It's it's two bunk cell. You know, you got the sink on the back of the toilet. I ain't that. Um, I ain't that. You, sometimes you got rooms that you might go in with mold on the wall. Mm-hmm. It's like, man, like I'm really sitting there just realizing how much time I actually have and what I can actually do with the time that's given. And I realize, man, like a lot of stuff that I do, I just feel like I need, you know, I feel like I was I wasted my time doing a lot of stuff that I do. But at the end of the day, it it just opened my eyes to the point where I realized, like, um, you know, like my support system. I'm really glad for what I do have. Like, just me being the person I am, having the people that I have in my corner is it, supportive, and it it kind of like, it kind of like bring you to reality a little bit. You know, I don't know. A lot of people ain't really got support system, so not shout out to all my homies that you know might be in the set or whatever. You know what I'm saying with their dogs or with a crew, or whatever, however it go. But I understand it, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you don't really have nobody in your corner, it just puts you in a situation where you have to really think hard. And it puts you in survival mode. Like, I was in survival mode in jail. Even though I had money and I had, you know, canteen at certain times or whatever, but it's like, yo, you know what I mean? Like, as far as it's like, you know, people that I have in my corner... I was actually thankful for what I have. And, you know, I felt content where I was at, but I did feel like I made a mistake because I'm sitting in jail. You know, I know <clears throat> I've been in prison before and all that. Like, but it just, like, that was like 13 years ago. You know what I mean? Well, well, so this, this going back period kind of just let me know, like, man, like, it let me know that I'm a good person, first of all, because I have people that I look out for and they look out for me. But at the end of the day, it just puts you in an area in life where it's just realize how much time you have and what you can do with the time available. Like, I don't know. I don't know if y'all understand this, but like I could sit in the room and I'm looking at the walls or whatever and I might ask the CEO how much time went by or I might ask him what time it time is. Time do then, move differently. And then I ask him what time it is later and it's like, yo, only, you mean tell me only 15 minutes went by? <laughs> 
Damn. Like, yo, only 15 minutes went by? Like, well, I thought crazy. he was about to say like two hours. <laughs> Hell no. Only well, 15 minutes. The Matrix. He said 30 minutes. 30 minutes. That's not Sometimes funny, but... 30 minutes. You just be sitting there like. I mean, I did my little two days in jail. That ain't, I ain't going to lie. Two days. Granted, I didn't know what I was getting out at the time, but. Two days felt like two weeks, so I couldn't imagine. The longest I ever spent in jail out of the many times I've been arrested was probably about six hours. Six microphone changes. Six, six hours. hours. And let me tell you, I was ready to kill my baby daddy for leaving me that long. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like Kev, like every 15 minutes, damn, it ain't been but a few. What the fuck is taking them so long? I mean, yeah, the, so, food, the food that they give you, just how you being treated. Like, yo, like I... You know, like, I was doing weekends. Like, I'm not doing nothing critical. You know what I'm saying? But I was treated like any other inmate in there. I don't care if they was to kill somebody or if they did something like uh, molest a like, child yeah. to the point to me just doing weekends for uh, something petty. You know what I mean? It's just like, God, Lee, like. Well, that's how the, the judicial system is set up to just make sure that you have no your rights are limited. Yeah. You yeah, are no longer really your are. your own person. You are the property of the state of what you are yeah. in. Yeah. Or it, if you're in federal, then yeah. you know federal. they show you how to be accountable because somebody can <sighs> yeah. somebody can be banging on their cell and if they get out of control, then that can lead to a cold red, which means that I can't come out. I don't get my two hours in the morning. I don't get my two hours at night. I can't call nobody I love. And it leads you to the point to be looking at somebody like, damn, bro, like, like, yo, like, you banging on that cell. I can't call my loved ones. Mm -hmm. So now I'm looking at this person that's banging on the cell. <laughs> like, like, yeah. yo, you, you know, stopping like, me from calling my loved ones? You know, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, now I'm like, man, you know, I done been sitting in the room like, now I'm about to fuck this motherfucker up, yeah. bro. Mm -hmm. So it's time. You take, like, away, you take away my little bit of freedom out of my cell. Right. So is your was your awareness of time, like, your biggest... Awakening, you yeah, know, yeah. My awareness time. of time, like yo, I'm about to go back to school. I got some stuff that I'm trying to do, and um, uh, it just showed me what I can do with the extra time that I have available. Um, you know, lately, like even to down, well, when I got out, like well, when I was doing weekends, every time I get out, I do something like go cook a steak over the fire and in my backyard, just to kind of recollect and. Get a peace of Ain't mind back. Like a steak yeah. over the fire. So like I'm always, I always eat good when I get out, but it just, you know, I started buying like shit for my room. Like I, I was like, damn, I, I made my room more comfortable. Like I bought like some fifty dollar pillows. And, <laughs> damn like, right, because I already like, know like, like that. They just like, like, like that. I'm that like, bad, yo, that, when that I get shit. back, like yo, as <laughs> soon as I get back, yo, I'm going to Walmart. Wait, 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 wait. you got the hold on me, TJ. You got the silk uh, uh, pillowcases too. Nah, I ain't buy, yeah. I, I bought but timber. The, I bought timber repeated pillows. He said they air bit like fifty two dollars. You know ain't nothing wrong with that. You got that comfort. Comfort. But it's just like yo, like we, we not when I was thinking about it, like I I bought I put LED lights in my room so I could change my mood. <laughs> sometimes I'm in the red. You just I'm came out blue. ready to change your life. Yeah, man. You know, I can't shit. get mad at it. He it, said, it I gotta it, get it, the it mood. Really, Fuck it, that. It really like, you know, it really like changed my attitude towards. What I was doing and how I feel, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I hate to say it, but it did. Like, then, Why you hate to say it? Cause like I, I feel like I always been my same person, but um, Are you, you know, like I always try to be the same. Like even even in jail, like I'm not switching up. I'm not like trying to act hard, you know, whatever. Even though I I might pop or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter. But it's just like at the end of the day, it was just like. Let me ask you this question: Did it? Did it, did you basically? Are you mad that it took you having to go to jail? Yeah, yeah. To see it, it took it took me that little bit of time I had spent in there. It took it took me that to realize like like don't get me wrong like I've been doing good, I've been doing good, but I realized like it wasn't good enough. You know what I mean? Mm. But sometimes the the thing is. It, wasn't, it sucks that it wasn't you had to go to jail. You get what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right, right. It's, it sucks that you had to go to jail, but if you learn something from it, you know, like, just think about it like this. You did 15, 15 days, right? Yeah. You had, you separated your shit on weekends. There are somebody doing 15 years. There are some, tiny, some people doing yeah, 15 and, and that's decades. A, and that's the thing about it, bro. Like, you know, I'm talking to people like that mm -hmm. in there. And, uh, it don't matter if, if somebody was to do two days in jail to if somebody was to do life. You know what I mean? 
still the same person, but I'm talking to these people and, you know, like, like, it's just like, man, like some of the people in there, like they really have, it, it show you how strong you are, really. I realized how strong I was and I realized how smart I was and I realized what I could do. You know mm. what I'm saying? And that, that's what motivated me when I got back out to start just doing everything different because I, I realized how smart I was. Like I'm in there thinking, I like, I send cars and shit all day. I fix cars. Like I, I, I done did mobile detailing. You know, I'm thinking about every fucking thing so that you, I ever did. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Did you come up with a contingency plan? Like, you know, so after you thinking, you looking at the wall, you're like, damn, I'm in this fucking, I'm in a cell, I'm in a small block. You know, like, did you come up with a contingency plan? Yeah, by the right. way, so so while you was on your, I call it temporary vacation, the vacation you don't want, right? While he was on his vacation that, of course, he didn't want, the podcast took a vacation, and not just because uh, he had to go to jail, but we just needed a break. I mean, we took a vacation kind of before all this stuff too, though. Yeah, true, true. But but it, the the vacation, the it's va- not a vacation. The vacation, <laughs> the vacation, vacation before I went to jail was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like I I kind of missed the crew a little bit. You know, I hit them up. I might call everybody. Yo, what y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? And we might try to link up. Like it was just like I was just going through the notions of just knowing who I really have in my corner and knowing that you really got people in your corner make you want to do more for those people. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, even down to my mom, like, washing my clothes while I'm gone on the weekends or whatever. You know what Not I'm saying? Just, Shout out to yeah. the mom. It's just all kind of stuff, man. You know, like, my mom throwing me a party. My, oh, I got two moms, but, you know, one of them throwing me parties and one of them sending me money and one of them washing my clothes when I'm going, maintaining the house. It's blessed. Hey, yeah. yeah, like I was Shout like, out to the moms. When yeah. I got back, I, I do more for them. You know what I'm saying? I do a lot more for them when I got mm-hmm. back because I'm like, yo, like my appreciation level for them Change, is yeah. skyrocketed. You know what I mean? Like I just went and bought my mom a few little ornaments for her house. You know, just something like she... It's like the, what I bought for. What I yeah. bought for wasn't. I'm not just giving her money. I'm just buying something where she can look at it, and it. it you know, it says mm. something that means a lot for me to her. So like, oh, the gift goes yeah. a long way. Yeah, you know, I'm. I'm like my whole way I buy gifts is different. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I buy more stuff. Well, why? Let me interject <clears throat> real quick. So why you was on your your uh, vacation, the podcast, like a vacation? Since what in, in this amount of time, what were you doing mm. in this little vacation? <laughs> like, because it's like we took a break. We took like a four or four I week. I think I was. I, I don't know. It seemed like longer than that, but my it bad. was a little. Yeah, probably like a week. Ago. I think we were. I was less busy before we took the break. Um, but it's, but the opposite of care for me, you know, like during our break, I went through a total transformation. And I actually realized that I was not who I thought I was. You okay, know what so I'm saying? You, Versus gotta... Kev saying, you know, like, I'm still who I am. You know, me, I realized I was not who I thought I was. So, In what way? What do you mean? In many ways. Um, in um, how I run my business, you know, um, what I wanted. So prior to the vacation, um, um, so if any... if the world doesn't know or everybody that watches uh, Great Apes Cafe doesn't know. We kind of had like a blow up on the last episode before the vacation that did not air. Right. right though, <clears throat> and during that blow up, I became aware that I was not really being my authentic self and saying the things that were really on my mind mm. and um, responding in a way that was more safe and protected for me. And that blow up kind of like was the icing on the cake amongst many things. Um, mm-hmm. So I've been on my self-love journey for a few years now. Um, and what I realized was, was that I still wasn't really being my true authentic self completely. So not that everything I was saying and doing was not who I was, but I was holding back a lot. Mm. Um, uncomfortable to set boundaries, uncomfortable to be in conflict, you know, because mm. I didn't trust myself in conflict. I kept feeling like um, I would not be able to control myself if I got upset about things or something somebody was saying or doing or 
whatever you have it. And I just kept like letting shit slide. So that moment for me, when we had the blow up here um, in this room, was like the icing on the cake or that last piece of ice that just caused it to break. You <laughs> right, know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. And um, at that point, I realized that what was most important to me at the end of the day is me. Absolutely. You know, not only did I, I realize that, I realized that I had not really been fully living in my purpose. Mm. You know, I had been so distracted by how I wanted my business to look and how I wanted people to view, you know, my story instead of just really just being and delivering it for how the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? Right. So just expect me to be raw and uncut and hey, straight to the truth hey. because that's really who I am in nature. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? But it's like that always wanting to avoid conflict is actually a coping mechanism. You know what I'm see, saying? Yeah, so, yeah, okay. so, yeah, so I was just... I can see that's a coping Yeah, mechanism. I was going through a lot of conflict. Um, my mom uh, total lost, lost my car and got into an accident. That was a very scary moment for me, you know? Um, <clears throat> things started changing. Shout out to the, my mom. Doing Shout good, out my to man. my mom. My mom is doing God well bless. now, you know. But it was very scary for me. I realized that I was suffering from PTSD. Mm. I was not aware. Um, so I actually since then have been in therapy. You good, know, good, um, good. I went and I got in touch. Shout out to April Autumn Sparks. I done threw her name out Shout there out before. She's a yeah, friend yeah. of mine, but she's also a black female therapist who. Um, I can relate to more fully, you know. And so when she advises me, it's more comfortable. But anyway, I just wasn't handling myself in a way that was best for me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So just being caught up in everything, you know. Um, but I'm me. And I am uh, many of things, you know. And that has been my awareness, you know, just being able to embrace myself in, in, a, in my totality, in all of me, in my good in my low, in my light, in my dark, you know, how I handle situations and really just letting bullshit go because I'm on a level up that nobody can stop me from going towards. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, and I was in my way. I was in my own way, mm. you know. So. Hey, and, and if you notice you taking accountability of you being in your own way yeah, and not blaming anybody else for the escapades of not being... Or being where they need to be at. Of being know, like, where they need to be. Like, and then too, like, I'm way less judgmental. Mm, okay. You know what I'm saying? I realized that I was being a little too critical, but I was also doing that to myself. So, and so a form of reflection in a sense. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. Everybody does that. Everybody. I was about to just about yeah. to say that everybody. Does everybody that. reflects how they feel, you know? And if you're always shooting to be great, to be the best, to be kind, to be loving, to be giving, to be this, sometimes you get caught up in what you're shooting for and yeah, don't and that, tend it, to who you are. I don't you even know? feel like that. Yeah, sometimes, you don't feel. Right, yeah, you're right. You're, and I felt everything, but I kept ignoring. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, be troubling. I, and I'll tell you, like, the biggest awakening was somebody saying they gave me power. <sighs> Mm. Ooh. The biggest awakening was somebody <laughs> saying they gave me power. And I'll give you one better. And I'll give you one even better. Wow. It's shortly after that, a man graced my salon and asked me how I could call myself queen. How I could feel that I have been appointed as queen if I don't have a king. Wow. Mm. Yes. Mm. But that can a king me, be a, can, couldn't a, uh, well? Let me just inter you, interject. You can, can interject. A, can a king be a king with no queen? That's if a good can, question. If you can answer that question, then I would see what's the problem we for only a queen. Agree with him fifty percent. <laughs> <laughs> I just think you know, that a queen. Could let me be a queen say with this. No you know, my response to him just was simply. Have you ever heard of people being born into royalty? Mm. I said, God appointed me as queen when I was born. I came here as this. You know what I'm so saying? So what is he saying? He a king? Well, he wasn't a king because he didn't even have all his money at the end of the service. So he definitely shut got up, exiled shut up, as shut up, king. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay? <laughs> when he was calling his girlfriend, 
Baby, baby, I need he didn't have all his money. <laughs> I need the money right now. <laughs> like that nah, right there saying, is a big indication. Nah, you he asking calling, me? He was calling his queen. <laughs> he was calling his queen to his rescue. Yeah. Like you can't come to me and, and claim to me that you are a king, and you're not yet figured out <laughs> how you you won't even have your finances in order. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Don't come to me oh, questioning me gosh. as queen and, and you ain't so even funny? on my level yet. You know, so... And that's cool because that doesn't mean you're not king. No, I just... Yeah. It's you know some, what I'm saying? Maybe he was looking for like... Uh, some people try to get answers out of you a different way. Yeah, some people just try to undermine you and make you try to make you feel less than who they are to make themselves feel bigger. And that's what happened with the person who said they gave me power. Okay? Mm. And, as, and I look at that the biggest realization that I've come to is that I can't be offended by how people feel and what they say in their opinions because all of that shit is based off of how they feel on the inside. Mm. So when a motherfucker coming at me sideways, this is really because this is how they handle them own, their own selves. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Reckless, judgmental, mm. um, insecure, you know, lack of self. You know what I'm mm. saying? Not lack of knowledge of self and who you are as an aboriginal God because you were born here as a man with melanin in your skin and you have the power to create and define your path and your purpose in this life, which is what I'm doing. Yeah, but facts. you want to criticize me or feel like... But you know why. You I, I know why because it's an insecurity within them. And... It don't matter. It's an insecurity, it's an insecurity. within them. But so when you see me moving in my light, now you try to find a way to dig and probe and criticize and question and wonder how she's doing what she's doing when in fact, you should be digging deep into your own motherfucking mm. self and figure out how you can do this for you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that is the big ass awareness that I have come to. Bitch, you on your shit. Why you why you constantly questioning yourself about what you got going on? Facts. I came from a long way. Nobody handed me anything. I had to grind and hustle and make my way and put my feet in the mud just like a lot of black men. But as a woman, and they say, oh, black men have it so much harder. You think so? Mm. You know what I'm saying? You don't think my struggle is just as hard as your struggle as a woman who's not respected in the industry that I work in just simply because I'm a woman, right. not because I, it's a lack of knowledge, not because it's a lack of experience, not because it's a lack of she know what the fuck she moving towards, but mm. simply because I'm a woman, you try to feel as if I need a man in order for me to have power and be who the fuck I am. And that's not the case. Yeah. And, I, you I, know? and I agree with that statement. And the reason why I agree with that is because if a person hates you now, but just a few months ago buy you edible arrangements, you see the juxtaposition. If I buy a person edible arrangements, which mean or indicate that I want to do some edible things, and then a few months later, it's a whole complete <laughs> opposite. You would look at the whole pie as, wait a minute, this is what they're going on. Yeah. Is it is it her or is it me? You know? Um What's been up with you, though? But man? before before we get off subject on that, just do understand this: there is a danger of power, dealing with power. You know, I've always been on flow state. Some people say I'm balanced. I'm actually not balanced. I'm more negative than positive. But what I am, I'm always practicing in. And my cousin, I had to explain to my cousin what does that mean. I'm just an observer of energy. I do not interfere. I do not practice any form of Wicca or witchcraft or voodoo. I just watch energy. The moment I interfere or do a spell or a ritual, I'm interfering with the flow of in. And the thing about the flow of in is it can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing based on if you know how to utilize it right. Let me give you an example. If I just come in my house, burn sage, Without the intentions behind it, there's a danger. Very much so. You know what I mean? Yes. There's a big danger to that. Mm -hmm. I don't even burn sage. I know how to burn sage, but I don't. And what I'm getting at is, it's just, I'm, I got to stay in my lane. And some people, and you know who you are, can't stay in the lane on seeing somebody doing some queen shit and you be offended. Your kingship be offended. You mm -hmm. as a man sh should not be offended 
if a woman is moving the way that they're moving. You have some people out in a here, positive way, even but even if in any in a, way, even if it's, it is in a negative way. Though. But why would you even be offended? You know what I'm saying when somebody's and moving I, again, in a positive tell you, way. You, you, you know already what I'm know saying? why. So, well, I know why, but you can do anything in this world, and sometimes just you being who you are in your own shoes and your own light. You can even be in your own shit. They will hate on you. Right. Because what your in is doing is upset them and rattling their cage. I don't that know, goes for anybody. I don't know if this match, but I heard Glorilla say, she was like, yo, man, I'm tired of fucking with all these fuck niggas. She was like, I always attract fuck niggas. Then she was like, damn, am I a fuck bitch? <laughs> so can I respond to that? Can do y'all mind if I? Freedom of speech. I like that, Kev. Thank you for I, saying I, I, that. Freedom of speech. I mean, no, I, 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 I love pay, that. I pay attention to a little, like certain shit. Like I like shit that hit me and mm-hmm. make me be like, Damn, it what? should. And I'm gonna tell you why. You know why? Because I always been a real ass woman. I have never been a fraud out here, and this is my first time ever verbally stating publicly I've never been a fraud out here. Mm-hmm. I prefer to to just move in a way where my actions speak for me and I don't have to say anything. But I asked myself the same question before. Why I always attract some bullshit? <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. It is because when you don't heal the trauma within you, you attract that shit in physical fucking form because we are a walking vibration. And people can disagree, agree, don't believe in energy, say what they want, but I'm going to break it down to you real quick. Vibration is first put cast out with sound. Sound creates vibration. Vibration creates matter. The Bible says that God spoke and created the earth in seven days. To me, that's no different Thanks. than when, when somebody says that sound creates vibration and when vibration casts out, matter takes shape. Things take shape. Matter is formed. So then he said, I made man in the image of me. I take that as I am a walking vibration as well. Mm-hmm. So because I am a walking, living vibration, what I feel and what I speak, I attract. So I can say and speak positivity and love and say, I want this great man all day. But if my feelings don't align with what I speak, I'm going to attract a distorted version of what I really want. Right. So yeah. I'm going to attract yeah, that's cool. the insecurities within mm. myself. Mm. I'm not yeah. going to attract what I'm just thinking alone because it doesn't you're, work you're like about that. A good man, but you're, you're good. But man. your insecurities say like I've been good, lied to, I've been man, cheated on, the, I can't trust nobody. Like, like I've like been. The good man that you perceive it might not be the good man because you. Sometimes. Because you, you wasn't 100%. Sure about what you wanted. Kind of or not about. even just that. You just couldn't move past your past experiences. So you keep attracting the same thing over and over. Or there could be a lesson that you didn't learn. So you had to go through it again. This is the same thing. Same concept. Yeah, you keep yeah, attracting that insecurity over and over. You you manifest everything. And people don't want... this. this these are some of the things I've been holding back that I want to tell motherfuckers. Your reality is a manifestation of you and how you think and how you feel. Very true. Whatever you have going on, it is the the reality, the manifestation of your thoughts and your feelings. Because my friend who's a millionaire, he got everything he wants. And he's one of the most depressed people. You know who you are. Depressed people in the fucking world. Go to Money vacation. doesn't make you Money happy doesn't, alone. Not at all. It does not. But it he, does not. His, his, in his mind, everything is ugly. Everything is ugly. And I, when I say that, I'm talking like not just people, but just, you know, um, the ego, the pride, you know, he, the greed. You know what I mean? When you get to a certain level in life that you can untether yourself from a lot of bullshit, you know, that I don't give a fuck type money, you start seeing the world in a different perspective mm-hmm. and it changes or distort or warp your reality. Mm-hmm. So don't let money change you when you get big headed, you know? So what's up? What's up with you though, man? We, yeah, we're you, try to, you try to slide off real quick, man. <laughs> so what? what? Nah, you try to slide Look, off. Tim Nunn had a job, <laughs> left that job, got another job, did the last job, paid him hella bands to come back to that job. Like, I just been um, I'm in flow state. I've been in flow state for probably a year. And nobody really knows. I like to say you're in high demand. What you mean? 
What does that mean? That means that uh, your presence is wanted and desired and feels needed by many people. That's scary. That's it should too much be. Power. <laughs> I don't want it that. should be scary, but that. it also should be um, inspiring. It's obviously rewarding. Definitely rewarding. <laughs> Why you say? Wait, what you mean? It's rewarding. Well, I feel like that's a subliminal. What you? What the fuck you mean? Because well, we know what went down. You yeah, know what I'm know. saying? See, I, see, I, we I, not I gonna put your business all the way I out there on Front Street. Hey, wait, 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 wait! I got that. I'm trying to figure out what I the fuck by, they even nah, talking nah. about. I don't even know what they fuck they talking about. I go by that code, and he knows. <laughs> what the what? <laughs> Jiggle what? Nah, but I'm in a flow state, y'all. My little break was just making sure. Um, you know, I, I just realized a lot of, in, in 2022, I've seen that you know, people want to be seen. Hmm. I see that people, some people don't care about not being heard, but they want to be seen. And inclusion is a hell of a job. And ever since I've been on that, I've been trying to de-include, which is not really a word, not include <laughs> myself in, in a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be... I don't want to be a leader, in a sense. I can lead without being a leader. If somebody want to say I that... I love that. If somebody say that they want to be a leader, think about the best leaders in the world are always chosen. And when and the wackest leaders are always the ones who want to be a leader. And it's hard to accept it when you've been chosen. I don't want to be... <laughs> yeah, if, if, it's a lot having of shit. A hard time I've been like... This. I don't even... Like, even on a podcast level, I had my friend said, you know, Shout out, shout, you know who you are. I ain't gonna say, mention your name, but he was like, <laughs> Man, you got a fucking podcast. You need to be more braggadocious. But what does that mean to be braggadocious? About what? Everybody who brag about shit, I don't wanna brag about. I, I need to brag about my wife or my children. Or, and that's really about it. I don't wanna brag about me. And the reason why I don't wanna brag about me is you see a lot of people who brag, they get in that braggadocious effect. They be like, Oh, I'm this, I'm that. And they brain, their ego just get the size of Jupiter. And they, it's like their body can't hold their head and they fall over sideways from bullshit. I love Jupiter, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to get that big headish. I just want to be humble. Everybody yeah. I've ever met who's that big headish, they lose themselves. One of my favorite producers, Ego, big headish. And, you know, granted, he lost his mom. So I don't know the whole ins and outs of that I'm situation. So Oh, well, no, you know, I'm Kanye West. You know, I'm oh, about, oh, subliminally oh, oh, talking oh, about Kanye okay. West. Okay. You know, okay. like, uh, but yeah, it's still a sad thing, but I'm getting at this. You know, the ego, yeah. it's, it's not about the money. It's not about the inclusion of leading, but it all comes down to if you're happy or not. And I think, I think I'm more happy, y'all, if I just not be involved in a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I know, you. being in a full state of mind is so easy, y'all. Like, some people you when you say with... not be involved in a lot of shit, can you um, explain a little bit more what you mean by that? TikTok, okay, Facebook, social medias, uh, the club, okay, distractions, um, distractions, okay. Uh, 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 so I see some of my, and I'm not talking about you, care because it sounds like I'm subliminally talking about you. Some of my male friends, a lot of women, you know. Mm -hmm. um, just people in general, like you could tell they wanna they wanna be included. Those in they the wanna, matrix. They wanna do this, they wanna and it's like I'm so out, unplugged. Like I don't even I haven't posted anything this year except for the podcast. Yeah. That's how like I wish I wish I didn't have a social media. I know, that's I crazy. Know, I hey, I, I just wanna say I've been I've been restraining myself like I just wanna unplug. <laughs> like I'm, I'm really I'm really like I'm really not that nigga, man. Like I don't know. What you mean by that? What you mean? Like, now I'm, you got to elaborate like, on that. I'm not that nigga. Like, what you, you know what I'm saying? Nigga. It's a lot of people out there. Like, I got friends that's like so creative, and you know, I got, I know a lot of people that's just doing fantastic shit. And like, but the thing is, Kev, even if they're doing grandiose shit, are they happy? Because a lot of these motherfuckers, and I'm not knocking you. Now nah, I could. No, nah, I can say that me personally, like, yo, like, are you happy? Like, like. Answer the question, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that I'm not that nigga, but I am glad to be who I am. Like, yo. That's okay. what I, that's, where I was like, getting yo, to. I, yeah. I am glad to be... Are you happy? Well, I am glad to be Kevin. Like, this call me Kevin, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm glad to be Kevin. You said Kevin. Man. Don't say that because from now on, I love to call people by their full name. Kevin, okay, okay. Yes. 
I do my bro but Joseph see, I, like that all the time. I hate I hate to shoot your dreams. They ain't my real name, but that's my right, right, name right. change. Let me interject. Kevin is not your real name. No, nah. <laughs> Are you? You serious? didn't know? How dare y'all have me sitting here for like a year? I don't. Even nah, know but that is true. my name though. Like I got name change. <laughs> Like, don't. I, I'm sorry, everybody. You know what I'm answer the damn question. We I told y'all I ain't that nigga, man. Answer the question. You might not be. Listen now. Answer the motherfucking question. Is your happy? Questions. Is yeah, your right. damn happy? In my happy? T.I. voice. Yeah, is right. you happy? I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was even happy in jail just because I knew I knew what I had. Like, you know what you had. I'm gonna. I'm I'm I just want to say this. So, like, all right. <laughs> Before I got my weekends, um, I got some type of message on Instagram, like some type of notification on Instagram, and I went and listened to some, um, some Figio frequencies. And um, I was looking for a blessing, so I listened to it. I went to court the next day. And I was just thinking that, you know, because your phone, I'm going to tell you a secret. So your phone go by what you want to be a part of. Like your phone, I don't so know. So if, if you it, Googling shit, I don't know if my you're gonna phone be part was of the algorithm. Listen, okay, I, don't know my, I don't know if my phone was listening to me or whatever. It does listen now. And I was like, Damn, man, I really need blessing. Because I was looking at it 120 days. Mm-hmm. So I listened to these frequencies. I let that shit play all night. And then I went and got up. So I or got up. I felt fantastic. I'm like, damn, I feel good, even though I know I'm going to the situation. So I go into the courthouse. You um, know, first of all, my lawyer had changed. So I'm calling my lawyer when I get to court. You know, <laughs> they like, yo, your, your lawyer no longer work for this law firm. So I'm like, oh my God, like this shit crazy. So I'm like, all right. Well, I'm not downing myself. I'm dressed nice. I'm, you know, I'm dressed and impressed. I feel good. For some reason, I feel fantastic. Knowing that I'm about to go to court, like, for some bullshit. So I get there. And then, um, you know, my PO, my PO was there. She saw me. You know what I'm saying? And she kind of, like, gave me a little smile. Like, she see that I'm there, you know. So I'm like, all right. It looked like it's going good. She not, like, frowning at me. You know what I'm saying? So... Oh, I'm sorry, sitting. I'm laughing at my baby in the background. I'm sitting there. I got it. So now, all right. So I'm sitting there. I see people going. You know, you see people going, people going. Then the judge was like, he's going on break. So I'm like, okay. Soon as the judge, soon as the new judge come in, bro, a new judge came in. So I'm like, ooh. I'm like, yo. Like this black dude went in the back. Then some, oh, uh, this white lady came out. So I'm like, oh my god! Like I got you got scared. I'm like, yo, I got, ah. I'm like, all right, oh, I got new. Oh, so look, I'm like, I'm like, Damn. I got new lawyer, new judge. So I'm like, oh shit! Like I, I'm Sound like, man, like, this shit crazy. This was working. Hmm. So I'm like, all right, I'm mind. like, all right, here goes nothing. So as soon as she come up, she called my name. So I'm like, <laughs> like what? Like this is crazy. So I'm walking up, you uh, know. My new lawyer, like she, you know, before then she come weigh weigh my shit out with me. So I'm talking to her and I'm like, damn, I realized like this new lawyer good. Like this girl is fantastic. Like she looked like a stud a little bit, you know. Shut the so fuck I'm, up. What they got to do with it? No, I'm just saying, like that probably means she handled her business though. Like, Shout out to the studs. My mama was a stud. Like I, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm looking at her. Like this girl looked like she younger. She looked like a young girl. Like you know, she down. Ain't no business. She got the button up shirt on. She and her like she like she done bad. At some, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? This is the look I'm, though. You know I mean, what I mean? Let me ask like, you this I wasn't trying to judge her, but I'm just saying what it looked like. Let me ask so this. Let me ask you. We go. We go up in front of the judge though. I just gotta get. Let me get this out. Right, go, we go in front of the judge. So like, mm. the judge was like kind of sweet. You know what I mean? She um, she she not really trying to slay me and shit. Like she like. You know, then my, my probation officer was talking good on me. She like, yeah, Mr. Hensley, um, this and that. And he did have one dirty urine, but then I smoked. I was like, I was like, um, I just want to let you know, you know, I did have a dirty urine when I first got on probation. You know, they was talking about good behavior. I paid all the money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't pay lawyers. You know what I'm saying? So he's that means he's being responsible. Yeah, like I'm, I'm took responsible. Accountability. Sure, accountability. A lot of men need to learn that. The responsibility and accountability. Like I said, man, I paid the restitution. You know what I'm saying? Word, I paid word. highway. Let I me ask you this question, though. Yeah. Get, get, hold on, hold on. I got it to check. Plus, man, 15 days. Hey. And I get off probation when I'm done. So you already off probation now? 
I, I thought almost. I was supposed to basically, but you know, next month. Okay, almost, okay, okay, almost, okay, okay. Month, so, you know. All right, that's what I'm talking about. But okay. it was like, yo, I was, so like me going to jail, I'm <laughs> doing these weekends, I'm I'm like, I'm like excited to do these weekends. Because you, know, you want to get the shit out of the I way. I got there. Because right. I was looking at 145 days. Mm. Well, 120 days or whatever it was. So like almost half a year. So, you know, I was just glad to be, like I said, the reason, the conclusion of this is I'm glad to be who I am. Then that I was looking for a blessing, I ended up finding one. You know what I'm saying? It just let me know that I was looking in the right direction. Even Thanks. though I might have made a mistake, I still knew. But don't beat you up. Let me tell you something. Don't beat yourself up. The you know, like my, my higher self went and found what I was looking for. And that's why I'm trying to tap into the higher self. Like, that God I'm trying to tap you. into that higher Kev type shit. You know what I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. Mistakes are necessary. You gotta, you can't be a person who's perfect and don't, don't learn shit. You gotta make mistakes. Right. I, I, I advocate for mistakes. I don't want to be the person who's aiming for perfection. What you wanted to interject on then? I wanted to interject on what did you learn from your situation? Oh. What was a bit, if you had to pick anything, what was the biggest thing that you learned from your your, vac your vacation you didn't want to choose, your whole ordeal, if you had to sum it up, what did you learn from that? And the reason why I asked that is after you answer that question, I'm going to alley up to Miss Brittany. What did she learn during her space of her time? So I learned, even though, that. even though I, even though I'm looking for a higher self, man, I just got to keep going, man. I got to keep going. I got the look a little bit deeper in the stuff that I really want. Because a lot of times what's put in front of our eyes to display is not what you want all the time, man. Like, yeah, you want to be like the big rappers or, you know, you want to be like something that might not just be for you. But then when you like tap into that shit that's really for you, it's like, dang, that's why I realized a lot about time and a lot about self-dedication. You know, like you just got to be dedicated to something and you got to really just watch how you use your time. Like, yo, time is valuable. Like, yo, time is really valuable. I don't mind wasting money, but time, not is really time. <laughs> time is really valuable. Time is really valuable. I don't know how, how many times I'm going to have to say it, but it is really valuable, man. Mm -hmm. If that was true, if that was true, we would have started the podcast early. Nah, I'll fuck with y'all. But yeah, so let me ask you this uh, question, sis. <laughs> What if you had to pick about this this break? What what's the biggest thing you learned from taking a break and having a self reflection on learning who you are now? I have learned to trust myself. Okay. I am um, every time I feel away, I'm right. Okay. Every time I sense something, it's accurate. Mm. And every time I don't listen to it, I regret it like a motherfucker. So, that more gut. than anything. <laughs> <laughs> that gut feeling? Yeah, I'm no longer in doubt on who's running this show. Okay. You know, this is my you better show. Run, you got to run your show now. This is my show. And when I say running the show, I mean how I proceed in life. Mm. You know? Um, I went through the male version of her shit. Possibly, <laughs> but I, I, but can I, and, and not to look, not to minimize what Kev is going through at all, you know. But I've had that same awakening that Kev is going through right now about time. That's what's up. Well, really, because if I had so before opening my business, though, it was like just a lot of distractions. You know what I'm saying? This person needs me for this. This person needs me for that. My kids need me for this. Uh, so and so need to go to the doctor. This person calling me for money. And by the way, weird thing. This is completely off subject. Random shit. I've been getting random texts, messages, and phone calls of people asking me for money. Okay. Scam alert. Scam. You. You. People. Run away. Listen. <laughs> Hell listen. No. Very strange. You know. I. I embrace it though. I'm like, oh, they see where I'm going. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I embrace it though, and no, I haven't been giving it either, good, good, which is good. funny because the old me would be giving this person this and this person that. But, but I said all that to say that you know, like I've been there before, where I'm like, all this fucking time I'm spending doing shit for everybody else, I could be investing this time in myself, and I did that. Mm. And when I started investing more time in myself, then my empire began to grow. You know, and what I can say about that is, is that now I have found myself um, making time to create more time. Yeah. You know that what I'm saying? Tedious, it is. It <laughs> because I started my business with just me. And then I had one staff. And then I had two. And then three. Then my three turned back into two. That's okay. And Mine now I back. have four. For a major comeback. So over the break, <laughs> I hired two more staff. And I dedicated a lot of time to training as well as working, continuing to work my business until I trained them to the point to where they don't need me as much anymore. Mm. So I've been investing a lot of time Making sure they in creating more time. Right. right. right, right. Mine, mine is like this. Like, it's just... I just don't, like... When when certain people call, I just don't answer the phone. <laughs> it's just real. Like, well, I mean, I'm after, again, wait, I'm I'm after a certain time, I don't oh, answer the phone anyway. Like, like, yeah, yo, I hate to say wait, it. Say it one more time. Though. You would, what you say? Yo, I'm real simple. Like I, I tell everybody, I'm real simple, man. Like, you say what on the tape one more time. But I just like, realize, like a lot of people just don't need. Like like, so my you time, just don't answer your phone. Nah, like if certain people call me, I just not answer. Man. I, like I use That's how it starts <laughs> though. Honestly, this that's really how it starts. I'm be like this. That's Hello? really how it starts. <laughs> now I'm just like you know, Yeah. I, I and I went through, look, I, I went through things. I went through that same phase too. I went from doing everything then not answering my phone, but now I actually do answer my phone and tell you no. You know that's what I'm real, saying? That's real. I, I do. And it was what I didn't want to do before. Like I didn't want to have hmm. to tell people no. I didn't want to have to say better? I don't want to help but feel better. I'm so fucking free right now. Like, I can't keep, even explain to you. Real. I was like 12 years ago, I was in my shower praying every night, crying for freedom. Mm. You know, and over time, I, I'm more free right. now than I've ever been in my whole 36, almost 37 That's years of living. Powerful. You know, but I've gained power in saying no. I'm just still, hold on, yeah. hold on, wait, talk about, can I say it again? When somebody call your phone? He don't answer. <laughs> I went through that. <laughs> Why is that funny? Why like, is oh, this so and so call it? Oh, no. I swear to God, I just I, did that. Just now. I'm yeah. kind of grimy, so this is what I do. I pick up the phone. Hey, let me call you right back. Somebody, somebody calling me. Hmm. My mama calling me. How y'all? My, my mom ain't Yeah, here. no. Now I'll be like, no, I can't do that for you. I'll do the wrong Are you that. looking for a job? Like, do you need help? I know people. You know what I'm saying? I need to work on that. Like, at the end of the day, I work really, really, like, motherfuckers, it don't even matter that people don't acknowledge me for what I've accomplished, right? Mm -hmm. I don't even care. But I know what I've accomplished, you know? That's the most important And now thing. I'm to that space where, well, first of all, shout out to motherfucking Lock Queendom LLC who became a six-figure earning business mm. in 2022. Yo, shout out. Let me go ahead. Okay? Major Y'all don't even know what that means. Y'all don't even know what that means. Y'all have no fucking idea what that means when I was in the negative when I started my business. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I went from being in the negative and in my second year of business, I I'm cleared. I'm one over for you. Look, day. right? 2022, Lock Queendom became a six-figure income earning business. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, and yo. yeah, so I have I realized I got to speak at this point. I have to state and set my boundaries like real clear. Let me interject with you. Yeah. Real quick, sis. It is a very, it's very, very important not to only acknowledge your accomplishments, but there's nothing wrong with being a little bit braggadocious. And the reason why I say that is if you don't brag on yourself, who the fuck will? You know what's so crazy? Brag though? on yourself you know, a little bit. You know bit. what's so crazy though? She ain't really bragging on herself. She bragging on a lot. Queen. She bragging. Right. She didn't even say bragging. Which is a team. It's, it's a, a team. She said that she bragging on. It's shout my, out to. It's my team. Like Shout out to her team. This was before I brought the extra two people in. You know what I'm saying? Shout out and to mind you, I had, I had more staff the year before. And I didn't do as well, but I had to fire somebody, hire somebody, like change some stuff up. You know what I'm saying? And boom. You remember that night we we was uh, actually like 
yo, like I didn't see somebody like meet her. You know, I ain't gonna say no names or whatever. But, but you know who you are. But I seen them, you know, like just really sympathizing and you know, letting her know she's sorry and because they realized like the decision that was made was just maybe they had something going on themselves and it wasn't so much me. Yeah. You know, it wasn't you. It was just like some people just realized it like like later, like maybe they got time to realize what was going on in their personal time, which was not the, the time that they should have they shouldn't have been given so much time to what they was to into. their ego. I don't even know what I, it, I can I tell you because right it, it was the it was the ego. They, they shouldn't have been given so much time to what they was putting time in. And now, you know, it was like when time rewinds a little bit, you know, like I call it rewind because it's downtime when we go having fun. And you know, it's yeah. kind of like downtime. Yeah. And they was putting not time being in really yeah, yeah. You just out, you know, like wasting time. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say it, it's nothing wrong with fi- having to fire somebody. You gotta protect your brain. Yeah, that person the person I fired is actually the same person that um Kev is speaking about. And I wouldn't throw her name out because I still have a lot of love for her, you know. I saw her and her greatness, and at the time, wait, wait, yeah. what you mean? Hey, look, sis be you talking a lot. So, sis be dropping them powerful in her greatness. What did you in mean? In her greatness, <laughs> I saw her and her potential. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? What she could do, what she could accomplish. You know, I saw myself in her. You know, before mm. I had worked myself up to the get where I am. The right, and but at the time, she was going through things that, for whatever reason, she couldn't see the opportunity I was trying to provide for her. And she was reflecting and making her problems your problem. Absolutely. Not only making her problems my problem, but then blaming me when things were not really working out the way she wanted them to. So, Was this the person your sister intervened? Yes. Shout out to you. What's this? Pam. Shout out to to Pam. Pam Pam is my um, executive, chief executive over staff. Shout out to Miss Pam. I heard you gay style. I don't think Very I met you. Very much so. Shout out to you, Miss Pam. So, and after that, I ain't even allowed to hire without the consent of <laughs> Pam in my shop, to be honest. <laughs> so it is my business, but my business does not function without the help of Pam and Lisa and Jayla and Ashara and uh, Shantae. Shout out to Without them, I would not be able to do the things that I'm doing, but I have been able to attract a strong team. Mm-hmm. So young... Uh, Queen was on my team, but she wasn't really trying to do things how I was trying to tell her to do them and really more felt like I was trying to control her, you know, versus trying to guide her into a, a different way of perception, but you know, doing you know, things. Not everybody's things. a team player. That's, that's and, and you know what? When I fired her, that's what I said to her. I said, I hate to let you go because you have phenomenal skill, but it's clear to me that you should be your own boss. And whatever it takes for me to help you do that, I am more than helpy, help, more than willing to help you become your own boss. But you just don't fit as a team player at Lock Queen. Did she see herself as a boss? Probably not then. I don't know now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's real. That the fact that you're still willing to help her actually. Well, because because at, at, first of all, when I started Lock Queen, though, I Google how many people have locks on this eastern coast of North yeah. Carolina, and I just want you to know <laughs> that the numbers is up in the six figures. Mm, they're going up higher okay? and higher every year. <laughs> I can't handle a hundred thousand plus clients of locks by myself, and for me to not want another woman to eat. Because she's doing what I'm doing is just completely foolish to me. Facts. You know what Facts. I'm saying? I don't want to be behind the chair forever. You know, like a lot Even of people will question like me about that because I'll big up Lisa, I'll big up Jayla, I'll big up Shara, all right. of them, right. Shantae, because I want them to get the light. I want the light shed on them and what they're doing and to take it off of me. Mm. So people won't keep trying to want to, oh, Britney, this, oh, no, lock queendom. You know what I'm saying? There, there's a, um, it's like a balance. It's like you playing a balance between the stroking of the ego mm-hmm. and the, the stroking of your power and letting some of that, relinquishing some of that power. Slowly. Slowly. I, I had, but I, but that's what I wanted to do from the beginning. That's good though. And didn't and no, because remember I told you yesterday, just the idea of me not being in the shop doing locks, it makes me cry. You know what I'm mm. saying? Knowing that one day, very soon this year. I'll be walking from behind the chair. I retire this year. How does that feel? Scary. 
It's scary. I can imagine it so. You because it's like, not like I'm retiring and not doing something else. Right, right. <laughs> okay. Maybe you might so, start podcasting a little bit. Well, I, yeah. That's the intention is to put a lot more energy into um, podcasting and, and um, working on and working on being a self-love coach and healing um, our society in its totality. And that's so right? hard. I, I was just saying that I, I agree with her, but I'm just comprehending that statement like the society of feeling is... I ain't trying to interrupt, but is totality a word? Or yes. Is it is. Something that you, uh, <laughs> I could have sworn it. No. The way you it, it, it she just made that shit real quick. I didn't make totality. it up. Nope. I'm uh, pretty much grammatically correct. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? Yeah, I'm more grammatically yeah, correct yeah, yeah. But, I, but that's my purpose. You know, oh, I'm no yeah. longer ashamed and embarrassed about it. I, I have been sent here um... To heal a mass of people based off of just sharing my story and being who I am, you know, and I've realized that and which is why I would never operate in my business to take to try to make myself bigger than everybody else. You know, of course, I'm the best because I've been doing it for way longer than the people that's on my team. Mm. But if you go to my Lock Queen to page and look. At everybody work being posted, you'll see it's other people that's running right behind me like I this. I, I, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like they touching my work like this. Like I give them just a couple more months and I ain't got to do shit. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like I'm going to be able to really get up <laughs> and walk about my shit <laughs> and then just walk in like, hey, how y'all doing today? And check the books and Go the fuck home. But you since know? no, it's just no every now and then you're gonna be doing here at I, least once. So a year. I will be putting together a VIP list. Okay, okay. So and I will have a minimum amount. I won't be doing locks for like less than two twenty five for anything. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm, that's yeah, that's but that's real. only because um, I'm not gonna be there. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. And I've reached that level to where. Uh, when I step away, if you really want me to come in this shop and do your locks, you just gonna have to pay, cause my time cost, like my time is valuable. Well, well yeah. since we doing my wife hair, and um, even if she go up on price, I'm I'm gonna pay for. I'm yeah, know but you know what? Right Not now. even that, Tim. But people don't even she, just come to me just for locks. They come to you for the fact that you're not just doing the hair. You're not. You're socializing. You are also counseling. Mm-hmm. And but a lot of people, I realize, especially especially with this podcast, everybody, it's a lot of people going through some shit. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they want to just be listened. Mm-hmm. They want to be heard. They want to be seen. They want to be felt. They want to be if, understood. And it's understood as, oh, that's a big Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they want to be, be understood. understood. Yeah. And that's a big difference. And sometimes, you know, it's sad that you might think that somebody might have to pay to get their hair done to do that but if you're doing that but they do if you're doing that mm-hmm. then that's real people don't realize the energy that you're putting in to do that it's like oh y'all gotta do this and this and this but, not a clue but at the same time I can understand I can understand right because when you come to me for that you don't like you just said you don't know the energy I put behind it I have to ground I have to meditate I have to cleanse you know what I'm saying right. I invest money in my crystals in my singing bowls, Mm -hmm. in my business outside of doing locks, I am a Reiki practitioner level two. Mm -hmm. And it takes a lot for me to be in a a space of Zen. Look at the transformations I be having to go through. You know what I'm saying? The shit be rapid. Let me ask you this question. When you going to upgrade to three? When am I? She said you're Reiki practitioner two, but when you going to go to three? Um, I will be free to go uh, get my master uh, Reiki practitioner certification after the fall of this year. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. So look, my Reiki uh, teacher has been emailing me like nonstop, like next level of Reiki, next level of Reiki. But, you know, I, I have to drive to Asheville, take a few days off, you know, get an Airbnb because I want to be comfortable, right, you know. Right, right. And it is a, a, a situation where you want to be able to retreat and zen. You right. know what I'm saying? Check check the light bulbs. Share on some of you Airbnbs with secret cameras and you know who the hell you are. There's an article I read um, <laughs> that some people with Airbnbs got these damn cameras and these lights. Yeah. Just make sure you check for cameras. I have no problem being naked on camera. 
<laughs> <laughs> Can I say that? Just, I'm just be real. <laughs> I have no problem. You know what I'm saying? Somebody threatened... Y'all mind? I'm about to say some vulgar ass shit. Somebody Freedom threatened me speech. one time. It was like, how you gonna let somebody record you sucking dick? What if they show it to somebody? I said, bitch, I'll be proud. Okay? Let them show that motherfucker to somebody. I ain't doing nothing in secret. Okay? <laughs> bitch, you suck dick too. <laughs> and, you know, and you know who you are. <laughs> okay? Some people so if you don't want to be recorded, be hey, weary. Hey, that motherfucking conversation with... <laughs> I ain't got nothing Damn. to <laughs> Bitch, record me, okay? I'm Believe like, me, he don't want to show his friends. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, son. Oh, shit, Facts. <laughs> okay. But I'm going to say, uh, I, I'm happy y'all here. I'm happy I don't to believe be it, here. I don't believe in coincidences. I learned from y'all. But I never want to be that person who's so big headed. And I keep, I keep going back to this this thought process. I just look at my surroundings and a lot of people. My definitions be different. I think that's what I mean by I ain't, I don't want to be that nigga. Like, what what do you gotta elaborate? Yeah, like I mean, what do you mean? I, like y'all see y'all know the definition, but I don't have definitions like that. You don't want to be. We in only charge. know because we talk to you all the time. You yeah, like my, shit, yeah. my shit is slang. Like I always been slang. I got Kevinism. You know hey, I mean? hey, that's a whole new word. Yeah, I, I like it. <laughs> that shit flows. <laughs> I like it. Boy, dumb. That nigga said Kevinism. Hey, look. Hey, listen. Well, I got that Kevinism. You, the thing is, don't be afraid to be who you are. There's a lot of people, they be shameful. This is why. Yeah, I'm like, hey, you know what, my, hold on, hold on, before you. Well, keep hold on. on. But this is why I say shout out to the LGBTQ yeah, yeah, community. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Them. They could be who the fuck they are, regardless of how you feel. I can't get mad at that. Some of my heterosexual friends are, oh, but he with her, uh, or they doing it, he, he, or she doing it, ha, ha, ha. But they in their own motherfucking realness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be uncomfortable, but I also like uncomfortable situations. Yeah. So, yeah. My, my cousin... Why can't it... Wait. Hold on. My I'm cousin, cousin, my cousin, my cousin wanted to write a book about Some of them Kevinism. may feel like that's uncomfortable because they're not... I really swear to God, bro. I think I'm about to write a book, bro. It's going to be <laughs> Kevinism, bro. I, I'm going to have my cousin help me write this. We talked about this shit like five years ago. Write a book. Because like... You know, I know you probably it. hear that. I but, still um, feel like you should brand yourself as you. Like, I, I just told Tim this last this week. This is very true. Like, Kev is... Uh, not to throw you, I'm not throwing you under the bus at all because I love the fact that you will try different things and do different things to try to see what it is that you like to do. But if I'm being really honest with you, I feel like you're missing the mark because you're not being you. You know what I'm saying? It's like you could brand yourself just as Kev. If a camera followed you around, <laughs> motherfuckers, you going to be paid. You know what I'm saying? The shit you say, the shit you do is like entertaining. Kevin is man, yes. And to... it's not only it's entertaining, this, this it's is, enlightening. This, know is, this is what the book... Right. What, like, I swear, like, like, this shit's so real. Like, I called my cousin on the phone and, like, he'll tell you more about it because he... I live with... So, like, you know, I've been moved out of Mom Dude's crib. Like, I never really even stayed there anyway. Well, you know what I'm Shout out to Mom Duke. Uh, once, I got my, once I got my own crib, well, not my, not even my own crib. But me and my cousin moved out at a young age because we was just felt like we was grown, you know. So like we moved yeah, out, like, man. We had I feel our like own being told what to do, and uh, like living with my cousin, man. He just always like, <laughs> like one day he was just like, man, he was like, he was like, man, I'm gonna end up writing a book about your shit, man. He was like, man, you just got that Kevinism, man. He was like, you know what? That's it. He was like, it's Kevinism, but he. It's crazy because, like, my cousin, my cousin, like, he always say some random mad shit. But he on point. But it's like, yo, I finally, like, understand this shit. And I wish, that's why I said, like, I wish I had time to really just sit down and really understand. So that that goes back to where the time come in here where I was telling you. A lot of times I just, I just was just, I was doing me, but I wasn't really doing me. Like, I was <coughs> doing a lot of shit. You know what I mean? Basically. It was. But as long as you learn from it. But right. I, I be having good shit, man. You know, I be having good shit, man. For real. Like, you do. A lot of my shit, like, I can't really sit right here and be so... Uh, what's the word? Is it vernacular? Uh, I can't really be so vernacular with everything, but I am real precise and in tune mm. to the point where I, 
it's the way I was just raised up. Man, I can't really give you a straightforward definition, but I can give you something that's going to define that shit. And you'd be like, you know, it's like, ah, ha, ha. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because like, I can give you some type of definition, but I just can't give you the fucking word. But you know what you can give? Real life. Yeah, you Real know what experiences. I'm saying? Like, real advice. So it's cool. It's cool, man. You know what I mean? Cool, Kev. Ooh, Don't be afraid on yeah. who you are. Don't be afraid of change. Accept who you are. And know that if you move in a way of love, understanding, but actually what's more important is self-acceptance. My why, what's going on? Why, why everybody laughing? I don't know what they're laughing at, but I know what I'm laughing at. Shout out to my nigga Z, 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 Z. That's what they're laughing at. That's what I'm laughing at. I got like five more minutes. I'm over here like, what this nigga been doing all day? I got like four, five more. My nigga went to the gym. Yeah, shout out to DJ Barbarian. My nigga been, he said, we got to put the podcast later because I got to fucking work out to him. You know, I got to fucking. This is what he said. I got to fucking work out, man. Put an extra hour later, you know I'm fucking working out. I'm like, all right, man. All right, hands up, don't shoot, man. Okay. <laughs> right. Man, Barbarian done lost like 100 pounds. Yeah. Y'all yeah. haven't seen him. Nah, he ain't gonna see him on the camera. Right. I tried to get this nigga on the camera. He said, Tim, don't bring it up. This oh. man's so inspirational. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit crazy He told to me, me if I keep bringing up him coming on the camera, he gonna delete my mixtape. Damn. Nah, I'm fucking with y'all. He didn't say that. What a threat. I was about to say, what the fuck? No, 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 he didn't say that. How many songs? My nigga Barbarian be like, Shit. Yeah. <laughs> 32 goddamn songs. Like, nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. It's, more than that. it's more songs than that. I got to what? do like 50 something. He more. got 32 for you to hear. But Ooh. I, I got, uh, I got two. It's, it's one that I sampled a whole bunch of samples, and the other one. Anyway, that's a different subject. But listen, yeah. listen. Please just, if you're watching at this podcast, please like, subscribe, share first. Second, if you got dreads, hit up La Queendom. Sis got the juice. If she ain't got the juice, then somebody in that shop damn sure got the juice. Can I interject real quick? Absolutely. Follow my Instagram. <laughs> why you laugh on that? Why you? Why? Did, what, what's it? Because I'm about to throw a promo in there real quick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Follow my Instagram and I'm so serious because uh if you go to my Instagram at building with queen, all words spelled properly, okay? Yeah. Building with queen, please go to my Instagram. Check out my Queen's Galantine brunch I have coming up on okay. February the 12th. Um, the tickets are $30. It's a catered brunch, um, unlimited bottomless mimosas. And a platform of six women um, of married, engaged, and single. So it's not just for single women. Let me throw that out there. Our platform is of married, engaged, and single women. And also professional clinical therapists, um, life coaches, self-love coaches, um, dietary specialists, um, Reiki practitioners, Mm. um, the whole, like anything that you could possibly need, wherever area you are that you feel like you're struggling, we have a professional on our platform to cover it. So go to my Instagram right now at Building with Queen. Get a ticket for yourself or get a ticket for your wife or your girl or your daughter or any woman that you know needs to be in a space of good food and true genuine love from a platform of queens that really are dedicated to creating a mass healing in our society. So that's, and that's needed. Anyway. What? Shout out to that. Shout okay. out to all of that. So I'm so excited about this event, y'all. It's gonna be so beautiful. That's what's up. Very fancy. You know what I'm right. saying? Ain't wrong with that. Uh shout out to Function at con- at Function at Junction. On Market Street. Okay. It is a um, venue just, here just in Wilmington. All, all out of my yeah, my bag, y'all. <laughs> you good, you good. Function at Junction. It is um, a venue that I've been to two events to. It is a beautiful place. It's black owned. Look her up on Instagram and Facebook. Function, S-H-U-N, at Junction. Um, and check out her venue. Uh-huh. It's so beautiful, um, affordable. Um, and she provides chairs, tables, and actually some decor as well. So make sure you check her out as well. That's what's up. My bad, love- y'all. Hold on, hold on. I see somebody counting some money, yo. Hey, hey I like that. Yeah, bro, I, start I love it when the it's money about, starts trolling. It's about how the money sounds. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, That's right. 
Okay. Oh, That's shit. Hold on, hold on. Count that thing. Hold on. You see if the mic can pick it up. Hold on. Nah, the mic can't pick that up. Don't it? <laughs> okay. I love the Mount Money counter sound. Okay. <laughs> Period. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's what's up. We need that in we need that in that community. Um, and I fuck with all of that positivism. I think uh the fact that this is a man's world and it's cruel, women need that. So I fuck with that. That's what's up. So yeah, and you know, pretty soon me and Tim have talked, so we're not completely forgetting about the men. So soon You forgot about me. What you talking about? <laughs> no, I have not. I've not forgot about you. We're going to do what an event. What y'all talking about, bro? Because we're going to do an event for men as well. Mm. Like, I don't think it should just yeah, yeah, be, yeah. you know, because I we get, got, the whole point is I get a, a annoyed that, you know, black women are not as um, thought about or empathized with. I agree. But I feel the same about you guys. You know what I'm saying? So earlier I said that statement about, you know, um, you think it's hard being a black man as if bl- being a black woman is not equally as hard. I but I just want to put that out right, there. Right, right. Being us I actually disagree. can be I, tough. I don't. I, I think it's actually easy. I know like, uh, in, 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 I, I know some of, my, some of my colleagues who are men might be like, Tim, what the fuck you talking about? For me, it's actually easy to be a man. I mean, think about what we have to do. Think I agree about, with Tim. Let's look 75%. At it my, <laughs> think 75. about what I have to do. My job is just to take care of my household, make sure my children and my wife can eat, have food, have electricity, have running water. And not just that, but make sure they have the entertainment and learning capabilities to do whatever they need to do. My job is quite easy. My wife changed more diapers than I do. But you know what? People think that providing, that's where the conflict comes in. So for us, it's second nature to provide. But then we got all these people out in the world who don't think it's... They think they're doing something by providing for no, their family I'm not, alone. You I hate know what I saying? see. And I'm not knocking and you. And I ain't knocking you. But you know But that's you what are. you should be doing anyway. They go but on okay. Facebook. And yeah. let, let, me, let me add on to what, what Sis just said. I have a... Um, I know somebody on Facebook. They they just... You know, I'm taking care of my children. I'm, you, know, they, you know, I'm doing this and this and this. But they're kind of fake flexing because they ain't got to pot the shit, the shit in or a couch to sit on, and they act like they got a house, but it's their baby mama house, and they're not paying bills. They're not buying the food. The woman is actually being more of the man and taking more responsibility than the man. And some people argue, well, Tim, you, it's none of your business, but he ain't even doing what he need to be doing. And Period. you know who you are. It's a great sadness. I feel, I feel like I... I think the men is easy for hey, me. I love working. I'm My back a, is strong. I'm a, I'm a, I want to go to work. I'm going to be a great guy for somebody one day, because you know what? <laughs> I make sure I got all this shit situated, man. Like, you know, I I ain't got no girl. You know, I do stay with my brother. But at the end of the day, like, yo, like, you know, we keep house clean. You know what I'm saying? Down, that's easy. Bills. Do the shit that's hard. I ain't gonna lie. Shout I ain't, out to I the ain't like, I ain't, I ain't in, I don't have kids, like, you know, my members here. But it's at the end of the day, like, I do... Have siblings at the house, like nieces, nephews, you know. So well, let me I, do, check, I do understand, you know. Is it hard for you to go to work? Let me ask you this question. Is it hard getting up? Don't you feel good when you had a good day's work? Yesterday I worked for 14 hours. I felt good. Proud. I felt great. Some people are like, oh my gosh. I walk in the house at like 3 50, 4 o'clock or something like that. And my son said, Daddy, Daddy. I'm like, yo. Even though I was tired, I'm like, you know, I'll go up the stairs. I open the door. Soon my son, Daddy, energy, energized. Yeah. <laughs> you know what like, I mean? Hey, <laughs> Dude, yeah, ready. Yeah. Energize, yeah. all that shit. Like, you know, I just I, for me, I'm thinking these worst case scenarios happening in this country. Sorry, I'm knocking shit over. This worst things happen, not just in this country, but in the world. As we speak, somebody's being raped, murdered, killed, beat up, shot at, stabbed, hit by a car, etc. I'm thinking all I'm doing is just working. That shit easy, bro. The female got it hard because that my wife just changed more diapers. Shout out to my wife, y'all. Don't beat me up. But my, it's a shame how many diapers my, my man, wife changed man. compared to what I changed for the day. I swear. I've been I probably do diapers two, for four years. I probably do two diapers a day. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Or, on a weekend, I do a little bit more, right? But on a weekday, and my wife, I ain't gonna lie, I'm like, Ellen, let me do something. Mm-hmm. I just don't want her to feel like she's not appreciated. Mm-hmm. To the men out there, appreciate your queen. Appreciate what the woman does for you. Don't get in the argument or the hustle and bustle of what man versus woman, submissive versus dominance. Nah. 
create balance. We need each other. And that and that's the in realization every, we every, need. To, every that we accolade. would if we come to this realization, we our world would operate so much better. We need each other. Hell, the man is not more valuable than the woman. And the woman is not more valuable than the man. We are equally valuable. Even if society try to even if society try to, to distract us or distort our perceptions. Mm-hmm. I need you and you need me. You know what I'm saying? I need your seed. You need my womb. I need your back, your muscles, your strength. You need my nourish, my nurturing, my love, my encouragement. And a man should feel a man should feel happy doing that. Yeah, being a protector, a provider. I ain't. I don't really have no complaints. I'm not a man, and I feel proud. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't try to display myself as a man. You know what I'm saying? I got three sons, and when I talk to my sons and I speak to them and kick it straight out, I'm like, listen, I'm not a man, so I can't talk to you as a man. But I can bet tell you based on my experience that this is how you would be much better off if you do things this way. You know what I'm saying? As a man, you know, I'm not a man, but I know what a man should be, so I'm able right. to teach them, you know, what a what a healthy Right. Man should be, you know what I'm saying. So, so I I need y'all just like y'all need us, hmm. and, you know. And that's really all I got to say about that. You know, uh, find gratitude in everything. You know, find love in everything. You know what I'm saying. And and if you define, if you decide to wake up one day and be grateful for every little thing, you will slowly forget about all the shit that's not going great. The you bullshit, know? but the evaporate. bullshit that doesn't even matter. You know what's great. You get to leave that job and come home, like you said. You proud of your wife. You proud of your kids. Oh, you proud of your empire. Empire, right? Your empire. We get it confused, you know. Before, when I was broke as fuck, I thought I was striving for money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then as time I, you know, started going by, I, I started mean, realizing that like, wasn't what I was striving I gotta, for. I got to interject. Real and quick. I've been so, homeless. So I like, it's nothing like having me a house. Too. I just want to say, like, my dad is is gone. You know, he passed away. Right. But I do have two moms. I have my regular mom. I have, well, no, let me get that wrong. I have three moms. <laughs> well, you I have, have four moms. A lot moms, of feminine really. support. I yeah. have four moms, really, because I got a sister in New York. I only met like two or three okay, times. Shout out to the sister in New York. But the two moms that I have, you know, they, one of them showed me how to, one of them showed me how to be there, and the other one showed me how to take care of what I need to take care of. Like, yo, I swear, like, my, so my one mom, she showed me how to, like, do stuff for the family, how to be there for the kids, how to, you know, my other mom do too, but she'll wake me up in the morning, like, before I even go to work, and she like, yo, you know, we got these type of bills. She just stand at my crib for the moment, you know what I'm saying? But she'll like, wake me up and be like, yo, we got, you know, these type of bills and this and that. And like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes, like, <laughs> when I get up at first thing, I'm talking about when I say first thing in the morning, like, like she like waking me up. And the trash need to be taken out. I'm, I'm down, like, like I go look in it. I be like, so got jewel on the I bottom. Wake, I wake up and look That's around. That's us. I wake up. I wake up. Look I do my sons room. like that now. I wake up, look <laughs> around the room. No I'm trash. About, like, I might be trying to run, yeah. put pants on real quick, trip and fall. Like, you know, they what don't I mean? want the alarm clock yet. It's like I am the alarm clock. It's like it's like yo, Busy. It's, it's like okay. having having that support system show me how to be a man because like one of them actually dealt with my dad. Well, both of them dealt with my dad, but one of them married my dad, and one of them was, um, you know, like I'm a baby mama to or one like my dad. Well, my mom was like a baby mama to my dad, and one of them was married to my dad. So like, I get like the the best I can't, of both worlds. I don't, like that's why I try to tell you, I ain't really got no definitions for y'all and shit like that. But if you, you listen, if you listen to what I'm saying, like one of them was just like, they, you know, my dad had a baby by her. You get feminine together. support. But then you had, I had one that was married to my dad. Right. Okay. And my dad basically was a businessman. So like at the end of the day, it just go to show me like what type of business I need to be handling within my own. Vicinity and and you're learning that from from women. And I'm learning that from two moms. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the 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 other like, you know, it's just like different levels of different moms type shit. Like mm-hmm. I got I got one mom that I might not even talk to that my dad and my dad might have dealt with and hurt. And right. it's like when I talk to her, it's like it's mad love to me, but you know, 
I don't know what it was like for my dad. You know, it's like I get like all. Hold on, y'all. I got it to Jack, y'all. I, I get it. all kind of like different type of understanding from my from my dad, even though he gone. It's I know what it's like for my dad to have somebody have a baby by somebody, be with them for a while, leave. I know mm. what it's like for my dad to have a baby by somebody and marry them. I know what it's mm. like for my dad to have a baby by somebody. Out I of get state. what you're saying now. Yeah. I know what it's like right. for my yeah, dad to have you. a baby by somebody that might have been. Um, at a lower level. Hold on, yeah, I mean, like, let me interject. I agree. But for this something that I learned, though, so like this ain't something that everybody might really pay attention to, but it just showed me <laughs> I don't need to be like my fucking dad on certain <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love my nigga, nigga went all the way around the world and yah, yah, yah to get to that point. In other words, but it makes sense. Kev is well, basically yeah. backing what I just yeah. said about but me. I get, I get this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah. they're going to try to tell you something that your dad ain't do. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, must say, I like this episode. This is the most Kev ever talked. In a while. In a while. Yeah. Nah, man. Wow. I just had some time, man. You know what I'm saying? You were doing some reflection. I got time today. I got time today. I like that. You ain't being interrupted. We're not being interrupted. We're not being overbearing. I get interrupted quick with this damn phone. (laughs) Hey, you know. But shout out to everybody who um, actually support us. Please like, subscribe, share, and follow what Sis said. Um, My queen, I'm going to show you how to hook. Building with queen. Building with queen. Um, If you got dreads, I'm telling you, get your dreads done. And, and, and granted, I haven't got my dress done yet. I know I'm, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I can but I said my wife. I can so get I'm an honest opinion. I can get an honest opinion. I get my dress done. I do. I do. I twist them to myself sometimes. I go to other people. All that I can say is her dreads, when she do them, they last longer. They, they last longer else. because shit. every thread is in the root. It. Let me tell you something. It lasts team. longer than the root. The root. Nah, it's not even that. It's just the <laughs> it process is. of it. The root. It's, it's the whole that. process. It's, it's, right. it's, a, it's a process of what's going on with the how shit is being done that lasts longer than a lot of people should. Mm-hmm. I can go to somebody and they make this shit a little better than her shit, but the next few days is trash. Why is I that? I go to her shit. That shit lasted for days. Like, yo, like, in, you know, like two weeks. I'm but you know like, why? You know why I noticed why? Damn, but you know why? Got no if you go to anybody else, they're not doing an assessment on the, the healthiness of your dress. She say it should dry. She say it should brittle. And then she help you fix and address the problem of what the dread or dreads may need. It's just more oh, understanding. You got a lot of flakes. Let me give you some. Uh, let me let me wash your hair. If oh, it's some damage, but we might need an AVC bath. That's what I see. Am I, am I right? Yeah, just so, a little bit. You know, it's, it's a little bit. Each, each, yeah. She do an individual assessment. It's just a little bit more understanding her to oh, the yeah. dreads. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's understanding <laughs> to the hair strand. Like, I know the hair strand. I ain't got the definitions, man. I ain't going to keep right. telling y'all. I ain't <laughs> yeah. got the definitions. But my it. producers sleep, y'all. This is Great Apes Cafe. I hope that you like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. The name of this episode Y'all is can't be... see it, but you see this. <laughs> Yo, this, you ain't doing this. This means me neck. neck. <laughs> if you ever see this, it means If the producer neck, do bro. this, nigga neck. <laughs> That's what that means. Y'all won't ever get that Let shit. Let me tell you something. My nigga okay. got a whole bachelor degree, and his nickname is DJ Barbarian because you only going to use short words. And don't let him neck. do it. Don't let him do it like this. <laughs> 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 So this, or this one, this one right here me like, nah. Uh, hey, di- look, it's different ones. Like, which is different ones, it's yo. It's this different right here levels me, to this, this shit. Right it's the barbarianism. This super, okay. this super neck right here. <laughs> this super neck. The name of this episode is Vit 2. We're going to just talk about vetting. Um, and hopefully you learn something. Don't but let I, me catch y'all using up. my man shit either. Man. <laughs> and like, I just want to say... Neck. I missed y'all. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. So she talking happy about. To be here. She talking about. I missed y'all great asses. <laughs> yes, I did. I said that. Oh, the motherfucking time. <laughs> and then I was like, "What the fuck?" And then she and said, then "Wait I a was minute. like, pause." <laughs> I it, I didn't mean it like literally, but y'all know what I meant. You know, and the group chat, the group GD. chat went silent for me. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite a great. Si- it was a great silence. Uh, well, I y'all got a. All males and one girl in the group. <laughs> sis, sis fuck with that though. Don't let her act like she fucks with that. Let me tell you something. Oh, I love let it. Let me tell you but something about strong females or strong queens. I'm going to give y'all men some game. <laughs> some females who are strong are territorial. Very. And so if a female yeah. is weak, there's only two things that's going to happen. Either they're going to be destroyed or they're going to run away. This is Great Ace Cafe. Like, subscribe, share.
Damn, that was a good episode. <laughs> Where the deuces at, right? Oh, uh, deuces. Vamanos. Uh, he Adios. Adios. He in there. We love year. you. We about to get some different shit this time. Au revoir. <laughs> Arrivederci. Deuces. Bye, motherfuckers. <laughs> motherfucker. You know who you are. My neck. Buta Bonjour.